Welcome back to Mega Man 4, everybody. So, today we gotta start the Dr. Cossack stages. So, let's go. I must say, the Cossack Castle, or Cossack Citadel, looks pretty cool. Russian inspired, as you can see. And I love this music. So first off, if we go back there, we can get an energy tank. And there are killer slinkies that we gotta take care of. The snow slows you down. Pretty basic. Whoa, that was weird. Oh. Ice physics on top of those platforms. Slinkies are awesome, by the way. They're so fun to play with in your hands. So this is where Mega Man 4 kind of gets worse. I dislike pretty much every Mega Man game once it gets to the Fortress stages, or at least I like it a lot less than the Robot Master stages. And the main reason is because every Mega Man game has the glaring problem of you can't save in between the Fortress stages. And the problem is, uh... There are quite a few stages in uh, Mega Man 4 for the Fortress, and you have to beat all of them in one go, or else you just have to start all the way over. Okay, for crying out loud- OH FOR CRYING OUT LOUD! No, no! Ha! <sighs> yeah, this stage gets annoying. Also, this is the only checkpoint on the stage. Okay, I have no idea why it would not let me jump there. Ooh, I love the silhouettes of the buildings in the background. It is, I hate ice physics. It's impossible to move while you're on these platforms. It's like impossible to get started moving anyways. Excuse me, I have a bad cough today, so... Hopefully I can avoid coughing as much as possible on the recording, but it, it's gonna happen occasionally. And this is where the balloon adapter is really gonna come in handy. What the heck? Okay, apparently if there's an enemy at the bottom of the screen and you jump at the top of the screen, you hit the enemy below. Kind of weird. Okay. That was a bad idea. Nope. I'll let that guy get out of the way. We're gonna use Rush Jet to get over here, I think. Bobber. So here's the problem. You're supposed to get a checkpoint here, but there's no checkpoint here. It will warp you back to the previous one. So because I can't... I have more than one energy tank! I have like three of them. I guess it doesn't... S I guess I might as well use it. <laughs> wow, that takes forever to refill. Alright, get out your rain boomerang, kids. When in doubt, use the rain boomerang. This is... I don't know what its name is. It's the Beetle Bot, basically. And the Rain Boomerang deals a hefty amount of damage to it. And also, its hitbox is way bigger than it should be. 
But there we go. It's dead. Way to go, Mega Man! Proud of you. In Soviet Russia, Mega Man plays you! It has to think about where it wants to go before it actually writes it down. Now we're actually inside the Citadel. So Beat's telling me to go up here. I'm guessing the Everway has a hidden goodie. Nope, never mind. The Everway has different traps. So the Skull Dispensers are back. I like it this, how it snows in the background. It's a nice touch. Completely unnecessary touch, but it's just there to make it pretty. I appreciate that. These platforms are irritating. Oh, they're not instant death though, that's nice. It looks like they would be instant death. Rush Jet's not nearly as good as it was in Mega Man 3, but it's still pretty good. Take that. Thank you. I don't trust my uh, jumping ability to get across that, so I'll use a balloon to help. This is why it's very much worth it to get the balloon and wire adapters. <coughs> They're very versatile. There we go. It's always good to have a healthy supply of balloons. Uh, you better believe I want these goodies. Alright. So, you can use the uh, drill bomb to destroy those doors. Man, I just never get tired of this music. It's so good. And yeah, you better believe I want that one up. So I can't remember... Oh, that's right. This is the Machine Devil. Nowhere near as bad as the other Devil fights. So what we do is jump in here, slide... And this big red thing, we just hit it with Dust Crusher. One of the few times Dust Crusher is actually useful! Oh my gosh! There we go. Da inflicting a lot of damage on it and avoiding damage is difficult. Man, Mega Man, I wish I could have had that much control when I slid. There we go. Safety strats. Goodbye, Machine Devil.
Cossack Stage 3, here we go. These stages aren't as bad as I remember. Of course, they get worse now. <laughs> and the music gets more intense. And Auto Scroller! One of my top three least favorite platforming elements. It goes Auto Scroller, Ice Physics, Wind Physics. That order. Sometimes Auto Scroller surpasses Ice Physics. Like in Shovel Knight. Nope, 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 nope. Friends. Friends kill each other, right? Colorful Artie 2017. Okay, that's not fun. I think the Rain Boomerang can take these guys out? Yeah. Like I said, when in doubt, Rain Boomerang. It is very, very versatile. It's so nice. Thank you, Beat, for telling me to go the only direction I possibly can. These platforms are interesting. If you're on them, they sink. If you jump, then they will move up. Let's see, what am I lowest on? Wire? Uh, I need to get more rings. It's oh, You always want to have a full supply of rain boomerang, because you need it so much. It's one of those weapons that seems really bad and boring, but it's actually, like, really good. So, uh, good job, Capcom. Oh. Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that so bad. And you know how to get it. Well, you gotta use a very well-timed balloon. Yeah. All right. Time for some Pharaoh shot. We haven't used this a whole lot. Pharaoh shot's really good because like it deals a good amount of damage to pretty much any boss. Time for this boss fight: the Twin Beetles. So what's nice is you can hit them with that, and as long as you're still holding A, you can uh, f actually throw it. And that's that one down. Now the second one comes out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So close. One more Pharaoh shot. Bam! I love you, Pharaoh shot. It's, a it's basically the atomic fire from Mega Man 2, but like way better, because you can curve it, and it doesn't take half the energy tank to do one full charge. Alright. If memory serves, I believe this is the last stage in Cossack Citadel, which is awesome. And it's pretty convoluted. As you can see, there are two different ways we can go. And look at that moon! Such beauty. Well, if we want, we can go up and get some weapon energy. I say, because I wasted some balloons earlier. Why not? And I want my wire. Try to have a full wire adapter on this level. Alright. Stupid wall shooters. Ugh. They open randomly, which is really annoying. Thank you. Please, sir, may I have some HP? 
Why, of course, colorful RP. I can tell you're bad at Mega Man, so you need it. I consider myself to be okay at Mega Man. Come on down. Alright, so if you want, you can use the wire and get over that way. But, no thanks. I'm gonna save my wire. Stupid aerial enemies that are so dang hard to hit. Great, dive missile doesn't work. <laughs> That's a nice one-up for them to give you. I like it when games are generous. Oh, first try. Uh, we can refill some. Oh uh, no, Pharaoh shot. Ugh, skull barrier is just awful. I will show it off. Oh, it can one-shot shield attackers. Oh, I actually didn't know that. And has 14 shot. Okay, maybe Skull Barrier's not as awful as I thought it was. I still think it's a horrible, horrible weapon. Oh, and it only works on the shield attacker's backs. I guess that makes sense. We haven't really used Rush Coil. Ow. Okay, I feel like he went far... Nah, maybe I just miss-saw that. Ooh, I hadn't even hit the checkpoint. Excellent. Well, on the bright side, this means I can show off the other path. Blasted Peter Pan. Man, this is like Mega Man 5. Mega Man 5, like, it's like half the enemies give you one-ups. It's like, great. Actually, not really. Mega Man 5, I've got a love-hate relationship with. I love the Robot Master stages, but I hate it. I basically love half the game and hate the other half. Maybe hate's too strong of a word. I do not like half of the game at all. There were a lot of design decisions I did not like about Mega Man 5. But I'll get into that when I actually let's play it. Yes, please. Hi, Slinky. And the pads meet up. And I believe this is the checkpoint. Oh, never mind. Here we are. Guess what Cossack is weak to? That's right. It's the wire adapter. Believe it or not. Hey, Dr. Cossack. Oh, Dane, this is awesome. Wait, I find he's not weak to that at all. Let's try Rain Boomerang. Maybe not. Dust Crusher? Oh, ow. Oh, he does not like trash. It's smelly. <coughs> Man, Cossack, you're not trying very hard. If this was Dr. Wawi, I'd be dead. Okay, apparently he took offense to that. Ow. That wasn't nice. There we go! What the heck is- who is this? Please, Mega Man, don't! My father's not really evil! Dr. Wily took me hostage and forced my father to fight you! Please, Mega Man, don't hurt my father anymore! 
Oh, Kalinka. Well, okay, this is kind of completely out of nowhere. If... Like, we didn't even... I feel like this is a bit poorly handled. If they had given us some indication that she was missing beforehand, this would be a bit more believable. But this just comes completely out of left field. <laughs> Father! Mega Man, forgive me! Okay! You betrayed me, Proto Man! I'm gonna break you, Mega Man! This, this is... this is grade... <laughs> this is grade A script writing right here. Like, just fantastic. Oh man. This is... This is great. Wily, come on. I, I'm going to trash you. Quite literally, because I've got trash equipped as my main weapon. So, yeah. If you thought Cossack was the main villain, nope. It's Wily again. <laughs>